Good morning, everybody. There's someone sitting next to me. So let's see if I can not be nervous. But I just got to Trader Joe's. It's 1030. I just got a grande oat milk espresso brown sugar thing that I'm going to try. I've wanted to try this for forever. And my friend Marette, if you're watching this, gave me a gift card a couple weeks ago. So I thought this would be a good little treat. Um, but I just, why did my car not turn off? I just went to Costco, spent like $200 there. I did like a quick little video of what we got, but I'll probably just do a full grocery haul when we get home. Cause this is a big grocery haul. We have Costco, Trader Joe's and possibly even Sprouts. I think I'm going to have to go to Sprouts. So, but let's try this. That's pretty good. I prefer sweet coffee. Um, it definitely tastes like coffee, but pretty good. But now I have to leave it in here because I have to go <laughs> to God, to Trader Joe's. Okay, you would have no idea that I already have shopped and come back now, but hand sanitizer. Um, Cause I don't wanna be sick, any kind of sick. I don't like hand sanitizer, but it's one of the things from COVID. I'm like, you know, I probably should use sanita hand sanitizer after I'm touching a bunch of shit that everybody else is touching, who like, you know, pick their boogers and stuff, so. Off to Sprouts we go. I only spent 70 bucks in Trader Joe's, which is great because I spent 200 at Costco. <laughs> but um, we actually didn't need a bunch because I went and got a bunch of stuff for chili at our local grocery store. So I spent $30 there the other day. I would say if you don't count Costco, we spend probably easily $200 a week on groceries. And then about 800 a month with Costco, sometimes hitting a thousand. When we're trying to be like really, really good, we we try to only hit, oh my God, this old guy's gonna hit this car. We try to only hit 800 a month, um, but honestly, a lot of times that's very difficult. Ben and I both have like specific diets. Like I don't really eat gluten or dairy, he doesn't eat uh, dairy and usually doesn't eat gluten because I don't eat gluten and yeah but off we go to Sprouts yeah so all the money I didn't spend at Trader Joe's I just spent at Sprouts I love Sprouts but it's like Whole Foods basically um, very specialty store they have a lot of organic stuff a lot of gluten-free dairy-free stuff but I think I was like a little bit hungry and I got a little excited <laughs> and I bought, I just bought Ben like a bunch of random shit that he didn't need because I just felt like he needed some dairy free treats. <laughs> so I got him like three, which was not necessary. Um, I bought like toothpaste and toothbrushes, which also, so it was like 80 bucks for one bag of groceries. But anyway, time to go home. All right. We got a little bit of some chaos going on in here and the poop is outside but I'll show y'all what we got I'm gonna start with the frozen stuff because hello, this should be fine with the yeah got these so I got that I got Ben some of his Chicken apple thingy. And then, oh, it's a I got some wild cut cod. There's literally nowhere to put anything in this house. And some vegetables. I'm trying to eat more plant based esque. So, we got some of these having my potatoes. Did I tell you you could? <laughs> You no. can. You can. You're, you're 
You can, I will share. I also got these from Costco because I'm trying to eat more plant-based and this is plants. <laughs> and there is soy in it, but I think it'll be fine. But something to put on top of like little bowls and stuff. That's not meat. Okay, I think I showed you this from Costco already. We got Colmata olives from Costco, vegetable broth. Ben eats these plantain chips. I eat these almond flour crackers. Um, ben eats this pumpkin flax granola. I go through hemp hearts a lot, so does he. So we got that and then some sardines. We got Cora gets um, these like little dental chews, which are like $23. And then I got some paper towel. Nope, back in the house. No, 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 no. Come on, back in the house. Come on, I'll feed you in a minute. I'll feed you in a minute, okay? He's like, I'm on my lunch, dude. Okay. And I think that is all from Costco. Oh, and these, which I am obsessed with. So I got two. Okay, next up, because it's frozen stuff from um, Sprouts, the specialty stuff. These, I really like these, gluten-free, dairy-free cones. They're kind of high calorie. I think it's like 320 yeah, but when you really want... Hey, get out of there. No, no. Um, <laughs> when you really want um, ice cream. Is it, stop it, Finnegan. Okay, I got these for Ben because I thought he might like these. Um, mostly organic. They're not gluten-free, but that's okay. And then I got this original cheesecake made with... It's made with, like, really good ingredients. Um no wheat or dairy, no like nasty oils or anything. So hopefully that's good. He really loves cheesecake. So I saw that. It was kind of expensive though, of course. Um, I got some organic green peas. Again, more vegetables, broccoli sprouts. Um, I want to try these chickpea pasta for just with like some pasta sauce that I have. And we eat a lot of these. Um, these are my, the only go mac, this is very dirty. These are the only Go Macro bars that I eat, so I get the, I got two of those, and then I got peanut butter chocolate chip for Ben, and a dark chocolate one for Ben. Um, and then he also eats these, so I got him four of those, because they were um, on sale. I got, some toothpaste because I needed it. Both Ben and I need toothbrushes. So I got some bamboo ones from Sprouts, some organic almond milk for Ben, and then I got myself some sushi for lunch. Um, it's probably not dairy free, but it'll be fine. So I'm gonna eat that, put all those away, and then I will show you what I got from Trader Joe's last. Finnegan's being the best helper. But last but not least from Trader Joe's, I got some white roses. I love the smell of roses. Um, and these were the only ones that kind of looked like they weren't dying. So I need to put those in some water. But I got chocolate bars, organic ketchup, a can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans, um, organic mushrooms. Uh -uh. Quiet. Oh god. No 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 no. <laughs> Let me finish this real quick. Uh, celery, uh, lentil brown rice pasta. I really like this. I got bananas, sourdough bread for Ben. I got some romaine lettuce, some organic grapes, some sunflower seeds. Ben eats those. Um, I already showed you that from Costco. Sage for a recipe. Um, cucumbers, a big one, and some little ones to eat. Tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, there's four avocados in here, and then some rolled oats. So, that was a 200, <laughs> like, $400 
trip this week. Obviously, we only go to Costco once every like four to six weeks, so um, we don't normally spend that much, but about $200 on other groceries. I'm gonna put all these away and play with this little dude. Here, my ear. Boy, back. Now you can squeeze. There you go. Good boy. It's now 12.17, I've been gone since like 9.30. Um, but for the most part, everything's put away. I just need to put away the stuff that goes upstairs and the bags. Ben is on a call or something. So I'm gonna make, or I'm gonna eat this with some aminos and chill for a little while before I get back to work. Okay, it's been a few hours since I checked in. It's almost three. I am having a Go Macro bar and finishing up some work. I'm actually waiting for this podcast video to export and then I have to upload it and do a few other things. Ben is at the dentist. He actually is terrible at going to the doctor or the dentist for like normal checkups. He really only goes to the doctor when he's like sick, which is actually where a lot of our debt came from a few years ago because he was really sick. Um, and same with the dentist. He's been having some like wisdom, his wisdom tooth is popping through. So we're hoping to heck that he doesn't have to get surgery because our health insurance is crap. That's just like something people don't talk about enough when you own your own business. Both my husband and I own our own businesses. Sorry, I'm over here waving this around. <laughs> uh, so we have insurance and we get like a tax deduction because we don't make that much of money. Um, and it's still like, you know, almost $300 a month and it like doesn't cover much. So we're hoping he doesn't have to get like wisdom tooth removal, A, because of money and B, because he's just like terrified of going under. So Cora needs surgery on her ear. Finn's going to need to be neutered. Not for a while. He won't have to be neutered until like January or February probably. So that's good. But he goes in for his shots on Monday. So I and I just went to the doctor. So lots of doctor, lots of doctor appointments. Um, I'm eating <laughs> this Go Macro Bar. One thing, you all saw my, my, lit, or my groceries, but I am not great at buying snacks because I'm not always hungry for snacks during the day. It kind of depends on how big of meals I ate. And I ate that sushi, which was like 400 calories, but sushi just never fills me up. So I'm already hungry and it's, well, it's uh, two and a half hours later, which isn't terrible, but it's not great either. Um, so anyway, I'm eating this Go Macro Bar, which I usually like to have just in case I need like, like a quick breakfast or something like that. But Oh well, that's what I'm eating, drinking some of my water with electrolytes because I have a little bit of a headache. Um, I'm not sure if it's like, um, it's like a beautiful cardinal sitting in our tree out there. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure if it's like, uh, my brain, allergies or if it is, I don't know what else it could be. Ben isn't feeling super great either. It's not like a COVID thing. It's just like a... I don't know, like my stomach's kind of been hurting. It's just been like a weird, we just haven't felt great, which makes sense. I mean, we haven't been sleeping well because of the puppy and allergies and all that kind of stuff. Um, so anyway, I'm going to eat this and <laughs> continue to wait for this thing to export. Then I have to upload it to YouTube and to the Google Drive. And then we use a, a platform called Searchy, which I had never heard of until this client. Um, and so basically we bring it over to Searchy and they transcribe it. So it'll take, you know, probably a day before it's fully done. And then I have to go in and edit that transcription, which takes a while. So this is like a 45 minute podcast. It'll probably take me about double that an hour and a half to edit the transcript. Cause you have to listen 
through the entire thing and searchy just like it's a robot right so it like fucks up a lot of words and stuff so a lot of times i'm like i feel like it would take me less time just to transcribe it myself <laughs> but it's fine so um i probably won't get to that till tomorrow but i was just getting a bunch of stuff prepared for this this particular client um I work the most with her. I work about 10 hours a week for her, sometimes more, sometimes less, but she's uh, contracted for 10 hours a week. I do all of her editing, basically all of her back end stuff. She writes a few emails and she's like the front end, obviously, like on videos and stuff, but I do all the back end stuff. So i um, going to do this podcast. There is another podcast that I need to edit and transcribe for her and write the blog post and all that stuff, but she has to create an intro. Uh, so I have to wait until she does that. She was supposed to do that today and it's like 2.30 and I'm like, are you gonna do it today? <laughs> so um, if she doesn't, that's totally fine. I'll do it next week. And then, yeah, and then I basically like, I write emails. I do a lot of transcription editing for a lot of her videos. She has like an online summit too and I'm going through and re-editing those for her. So a lot of that kind of stuff and a lot of writing, which I love. So I really, really love this client and I love like what she talks about. I am going to finish up this because it's almost done exporting. It didn't take that long today, which is great. And then get back to some work a little bit for her. Obviously I was gone all morning. So I checked in on work this morning before I left got ready and then I was gone for like three hours running errands. And now I've been working for about two and a half hours and I'll probably work a little bit more. We'll see. I'm trying to get as much done as possible just cause I don't feel super great. So if I need like a break tomorrow, that's what I've been doing. Hopefully that's interesting to you guys kind of hearing like what I do in a day. I look really tired probably because I am but both of the puppies are asleep Ben's gone and I think I'm gonna make chili I have been holding this and not eating it <laughs> so I'm like waving this around the whole time it's very good but I think I'm gonna make chili for dinner I've been like on a chili kick this is this will literally be the third fourth time we've had chili in the last two weeks <laughs> so I've been like on a chili fiend lately um i love chili particularly the recipe that my dad used to make growing up i love it it's very like saucy um versus like or no this will be the third time i've made chili so it's very saucy and ben prefers like a really thick chili which i don't but anyway that's what's going on here well i tried to show you what i was just doing but um <laughs> apparently I didn't push the record button but basically I just am now uploading a file to the google drive which is connected to searchy and it'll do its little thing so excuse me that's what's going on there I thought I'd update you um so next week's gonna be pretty crazy I am what are we doing this weekend Ben's supposed to do uber eats tonight through Sunday I don't have any plans this weekend I think he does do I have any plans I don't have any friends, y'all. So if you want to be my friend, please let me know because I like literally don't have any plans. I'm going to get my eyebrows waxed tomorrow. I'm very excited. I haven't had them waxed in two and a half years. Very excited. Oh, we're having a, a chat with our friends Frank and Draco on Sunday, who super close friends of ours. If you've ever watched like our getting engaged video or our wedding video, they were very integral in that. But anyway, next week, Monday night, Ben's friend Sierra is coming to visit. She will be staying with us for two days. I think she'll probably leave like Wednesday sometime. And then Thursday, we are driving to Boone, North Carolina, which is about three hours from here, close, or it's in the mountains. And we're getting an Airbnb. And then um, the next day, we are meeting our other friend, Alyssa, and her husband, Matt, and we'll be meeting them just for lunch. They happen, they're from California, uh, and they happen to be in Boone for a wedding, for her brother's wedding, or somebody, somebody she knows wedding. So we're like, okay, she's literally going to be, like, we never would get to see her. She's from Southern California. We live on the East Coast, literally across the country. So 
um, if she's going to be in our state. We're going to try to <laughs> go and see her. So right now I'm trying to figure out the Airbnb because originally we had just had Cora when we signed up for this and then we made the very spontaneous decision to get Finnegan. So we'll have to have two dogs. So I reached out to the Airbnb to see if that was okay. I'm waiting to hear back from them. If not, we're going to have just like a really long one day drive there, meet them, drive home type of thing. Cause I mean, we can't leave him here. I don't really have, I have, I do have a, a cousin that lives in the area, but I don't, I'm not going to like bother her with taking care of our 10 week old puppy. And then yeah, so we're doing that Thursday, Friday. We'll come home Friday, probably get home in the evening. And then Saturday afternoon, or morning, I should say, oh God, <laughs> I'm going to a sister circle, which I've never done before. And it makes me a little uncomfortable, which is why I'm going. So as I just told you, I have zero friends in Raleigh. To be honest, I don't really have friends at all. <laughs> I have, I have friends that's like, but you know, my friend, like, my one really good friend lives in Michigan and my other friend, is it, is she in Michigan? She's either in Michigan or Northern Wisconsin. I don't even know. And then my other best friend lives in Southern California. And then my sister lives in Wisconsin. And then our families both live in Wisconsin and Illinois. And I have a few friends in Illinois, but anyway, nobody I ever see. My friend lives in Boston who I've never met. <laughs> So I'm going to the sister circle as A, a way to possibly meet people, but B, it's kind of just like a, a good thing for like nervous system dysregulation and like just like working through some stuff. It's with like a, a counselor slash coach. And yeah, so she puts on a few events in Raleigh and she actually, I went to a human design workshop that she put on last month. I did it like a few days after I had my miscarriage. So quite honestly, I just like wasn't in a good place to be in public with other people. So I'm, I really didn't interact with anyone. Uh, so I'm hopeful that this time will be a little bit different, but I just saw, speaking of best friends, my friend from Southern California just sent me her voice memo. If you guys are new here, I send a voice memo to my best friend pretty much every day. And we say, three things, or at least three things that we're grateful for, an affirmation for the day, and a few of our goals. And it's kind of just our way to check in with each other and then hold each other accountable. So um, she is on the West Coast, obviously. So she just sent me her message. So I am going to continue with work and I will update you guys whenever I'm doing something so you don't have to just watch me hold my granola bar. some chili going got some trying to get some water to boil here but basically my chili is just I used turkey this time just because um, I didn't want red meat but I put in some fire roasted tomatoes green chilies hot chili beans which I'm now realizing I probably put in way too much chili powder because I forgot that that was spicy but um, and then some crushed red pepper. And then I also use the um, spicy V8. So it's definitely gonna have some spice to it. And then I just have some gluten-free macaroni noodles here. I just, a tip, if you have one of these type things, some people like put them in here, um, but I cut off the directions and then I put them in this little like catch-all drawer we have here so that I remember how to cook the pasta since I put them in these little jars. But yeah, so I'm gonna put away all this stuff and 
Ben is upstairs, so I'm just cooking away while he's down here, or while he's up there, and hopefully the chili will be good, and yeah. But these two think they're helping, but they're not. Wait, they also want to eat. They eat in 10 minutes, so. <laughs> Hello friends, happy Friday. Um, we must be close to the highway. Yeah, we are, because I can hear it. But I am at, I don't know where I am, somewhere in Raleigh, <laughs> um, getting my eyebrows waxed for the first time in like two years. So I'm trying out this salon that has like really good reviews. I am like 10 minutes early though. So um, just trying to, you know, do some shit. I don't know about y'all, but my anxiety, when I have to go somewhere new, I'm anxious about it and it drives me crazy. Like I'm just getting my eyebrows waxed, but I'm anxious, you know? So anybody else, let me know in the comments if you can relate, but um, it's 2.06. My appointment is at 2.15 and then I need to run to PetSmart to get Finn a crate. And currently I'm in like North East Raleigh. Like I'm just North of the city and I live, no, I'm Northwest Raleigh, right? Yeah. And I, my library is in Wake Forest, which is like very East. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of what my plan is. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to do more work when I get home. Otherwise I might do a FaceTime call with my best friend, Michelle. We are thinking of starting, well, we've been trying to start some sort of like business slash like Instagram account with each other. So yeah, I'm just, we were gonna chat either today or tomorrow. Ben is still like not feeling great, but he's supposed to do Uber Eats tonight. So I don't know if he's going to. I don't think he's like sick. He's just having like pain in his mouth because his wisdom teeth are coming in. And I think it's like causing nausea. And he's just like, I don't even know how to explain it. I don't know. He's not great at explaining when he doesn't feel well, like what he means by that. So I don't fully know what's wrong with him. But this is kind of like a cute little area. It's just like all these little brick buildings. They look like houses, but they're businesses. So yeah, I might talk to my friend Michelle. I might do some work. It really depends on where I'm at mentally. And then yeah, just like running some errands. It's like a really gray and gloomy day here in rally. So yeah, kind of hoping that that chills out soon. And just like that, they're done. I always get really red. Um, you can't see anything, but they're nice and cleaned up. Yay. Who is that? Is it Daddy? <laughs> yeah. We're much excited about Daddy, huh? Are we excited? Back up. <laughs> Papa's first time in the water. This thing is going crazy today. Come here. What's he eating? Don't want to go in anymore? Okay friends, it's officially Sunday and I am logging off the vlog here. We have really just been kind of busy today. We went for a walk earlier today, which I put like the tiniest little clip in. And then we've been cleaning the house and cooking and doing laundry and all that stuff because one of Ben's friends is coming to visit tomorrow. So tomorrow evening. I have a pretty busy beginning of the week while his friend's here because we're I'm gonna be basically out of the office Thursday and Friday so yeah I'm just trying to like 
get a little bit ahead on stuff. I appreciate you guys watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. We, I'll be filming, I believe, when we are in Boone, North Carolina this coming weekend. It's the first time we're traveling with Finn, so we'll see how that goes. He actually goes in for his shots tomorrow morning, so we have like a crazy week between his shots tomorrow morning. I need to get a bunch of work done. I'm sure Ben does too. His friend's going to be here Monday night through Wednesday morning-ish. Tuesday, I have a meeting and podcast and all kinds of stuff. And then Thursday and Friday, we're in Boone, North Carolina. And Saturday, I have um, an event here that I'm going to. So it's just going to be a very, very busy week. And yeah, so Ben is out doing Uber Eats right now. And I am going to, um, I think, try to edit this vlog so that I can get it up for you guys on Tuesday and so that I can take a little bit of work off my plate for tomorrow because I have a lot to do tomorrow. But I hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.